day in May. Hey guys, it's Jesse for Element A Day in May and I am on set today so I just kind of snuck in my car. I'm going to get this element out for you guys. Today is Rutherfordium and if that sounds like it was named after some guy, you would be correct. Uh, it's Ernest Rutherford. He was the father of modern nuclear physics. But that's not the coolest part about Rutherfordium. The coolest part is how they make it. This idea of synthesizing elements. So to start with, the atomic number uh, for Rutherfordium is 104. And the way we come up with this atomic number, we, I say like I'm part of it, the way as a civilization we come up with this atomic number is by counting the number of protons inside of the nucleus of an element. And so what they do to synthesize elements is they'll take one element and this is what happened with Rutherfordium in 1964 so in in Russia they took um, element uh, 94 which is uh, plutonium and um, element 10 yeah 94 plus 10 uh, element 10 neon and they basically bombarded them against each other and so you have 94 protons in the nucleus of plutonium and you have 10 protons in the nucleus of neon and so when when they hit each other it would kind of be like 94 plus 10 equals for the most part it was just 94 plus 10 equals 94 plus 10 they would stay their own individual elements and then every once in a while this fusion happened and you would get 94 plus 10 equaled 104 and you would create this new element and that new element was Rutherfordium. I talked a little bit about this last year um, for Unun Septium and the reason why I thought it was cool to bring up again for Rutherfordium was because they did this again with Rutherfordium in 1969 in Berkeley but instead of using plutonium and neon they actually got the same uh, similar results using uh, element 98 Californium and element number six carbon and it was 98 and 6, 98 and 6, 98 and 6, and then woo, 104. I feel like this is a remedial math lesson. Granted, the two Rutherfordiums, granted the Rutherfordiums that they found in these two different scenarios were different isotopes, but that is a whole nother story. Element a day in May.